are you doing? So I was just trying to find your notes. Um, okay, so you uh, say so you've got a sore throat. Okay. You never had anything else going on at all? Been under a lot of stress or anything like that? Okay. Stress is quite a big one for causing throat um, problems. So, have you been any um, in any sort of dusty areas, sort of heavily dusty areas, like building sites or, um, yeah, you know, no, okay, like fibrous places or anything like that. Hmm, okay. So today I'm going to be taking um, your, well, well, I'll be checking your heart rate. I'll be ch um, taking your temperature. Um, and just having a look down your throat as well. Okay, just so that you know what to expect. Okay. Um, our computer system's down at the moment, so I'm having to do everything by hand, which is slightly problematic, but we just have to work with it, you know. Um, and we've also run out of rubber gloves, so I'm having to wear these, but I'm sure that's okay, you don't mind, do you? That's okay. Um, Okay, so sort of tell me when this all started. How how long has it been going on for? Right, and you noticed it got worse. Okay, and so tell me when it got worse. How did the symptoms change? What what got worse? Oh yeah, no, that's painful. You think you've had a bit of a temperature, do you? Okay. Well, that's usually common because it's just your body's way of trying to fight things off. So it increases its temperature just to part of the battle, you know. So it's kind of a good thing that your temperature's gone up, just as long as it's not got too high. Um, have you been checking your temperature, like, daily or anything like that? And so what were your readings? You don't, you don't, I suppose when you're unwell it's better to do it every day, but it's not healthy to take it every day because you kind of get a bit obsessed with it, you know. Okay. So that is a temperature. Uh, what's the highest that it's reached? Okay, yeah, that's quite high. Um, do you know what your sort of average temperature is anyway, so when you're not unwell? Okay, yeah, that's that's a good temperature. So we can definitely see that that's high, higher than it, higher than we want it to be. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, so tell me, what do you do for a living? Okay. Yeah, so no, that wouldn't impact it at all. It could just be that you've picked up a bit of a bug, and it's just developed in your throat maybe if your immune system was down a little bit what's your diet like do you um do you eat particularly healthily do you have good amounts of fruit and vegetables every day or um just sort of more a bit of a picker every now and again we're all guilty of it don't be embarrassed <laughs> okay well that's good that's something um i would maybe suggest that you maybe try and incorporate a little bit more um it would help you out because that's not quite enough. I'm not saying stop eating all the all the bad stuff. Maybe reduce it, but it's you've got to have the bad stuff too, you know. In my opinion, I've been professional, so I can say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I would say try and incorporate some more fruits and vegetables if you can. Do you prefer one or the other, like fruits to vegetables? Or I know I myself prefer vegetables. I am a sweet tooth generally, but um, I do prefer vegetables over fruits. Um, things like broccoli, peas, green beans. Yeah, just try new things. Um, a, a good suggestion would be to like, every week, maybe when you're in the supermarket, pick up sort of one new vegetable and, um, and try and create a dish incorporating that um, and you'll either like it or you won't if you don't like it you don't buy it again if you like it you found a new vegetable that you like that's the that's the way i see it i think it's quite a 
but just an interesting way. It makes it a bit more fun and exciting, and especially if you're into cooking, it can sort of inspire you a little bit more, I think. So, just a suggestion. Um, Fruit-wise, though, what um, do you have fruits that you particularly like or don't like? Let's see if I can sort of help you in help like find what you need more of you know okay well they're good now bananas you don't want to be eating more than one a day you can a couple's okay but no more than a couple because you start getting headaches there's too much potassium in your system then um so yeah we usually recommend no more than one a day if it's a particularly small one then yes yeah, so, i mean you could have a couple but a big banana just one um oranges are okay apples are fine but the thing is, you don't. Your body doesn't need more than one. That's why they say have a mixture. Try and incorporate five different ones. Um, just because, just from one, typically your body can get what it needs from that particular fruit. So if you have any more than one, it's not gaining anything, and they're quite sugary. So it's, it's kind of a bit of a catch twenty two. <laughs> but that's okay. Good effort though. You do you do try and incorporate some, so that's okay better than some people so um okay and what sort of physical exercise do you get do you are you quite active or not so much sort of weekly it doesn't have to be a daily you know sort of weekly how much what do you do okay okay well that's good and that's quite a good way to socialize as well isn't it so yeah that's good for your mental health as well as physical um, okay, so you quite like a bit of exercise then. It's okay that it's not daily, you know. Um, some people love to what, do daily things, other people don't. Um, but the fact that you do weekly things, or do things a few times a week, that's a good, that's, yeah, that's okay. You do what you want, like what you can manage and what you like, you know, that's okay. It's when you overdo it, then you lose motivation. So don't pressure yourself and don't let other people pressure you too. Okay. And let me just have a look to see what else I wanted to ask you. Um, You haven't had any nose symptoms or anything, have you? Is it, did it start at your nose at all, do you think? You didn't have any sinus issues or anything like that. Oh, okay. But you didn't come in. Okay. Right. In that instance then, I think where you've had some sinus issues, I think that's then traveled down your nose is cleared up but it's actually triggered an infection in your throat i'm wondering if that is what's happened here okay that's don't need to panic it's perfectly normal things like that do happen and it's okay that you didn't feel the need to do anything about it because our bodies are very good at fighting things off naturally so um yeah, no, that's fine. I uh, I will be looking. I'll have a look at, like I said, in the back of your throat. Then um, I can probably I'll probably um, give you a prescription maybe for a nasal spray as well because um, if it's travelled down to your throat, it could mean that there's still things going on in your nose. How long ago do you think you were over the nose, the sinus issue? Okay. Hmm. Quite a long time to be fair but I suppose I've got to take one little bit of bacteria and then um, things can happen and if you've got a bit stressed and then run down it's just flared up again so that's okay no need to worry okay well I think I'm happy with um, the questions if anything else springs to mind I'll just ask you during your assessment um, but now I think I just want to um, check your pulse that's okay and I'll check your breathing too because I just want to make sure there's sort of no crackling or um, sort of congestive 
sounds in your chest, okay? I'm just going to pop these in. This might be a bit cold. <laughs> just warm it up in my hands. Places on your chest. Just breathe in for me. And in again. And out again. I am just going to put this on your back as well, if that's okay. So just so breathe in again. And then out again. And do that side as well. Breathe in, and then out. Okay. All right, I think it wasn't really enough to hear, to be honest. I'm not really concerned. Um, I might just check some other things and then I'll come back to that one because I don't think it's really travelled down to your chest so but I think that's something maybe we should keep an eye on uh, maybe get a second opinion but I, not that you need to worry about anything that's okay right, okay I would just like to take your temperature now if that's okay. Alright, it's nothing sinister, it's just a little thermometer, so if you just want to open your mouth and I'll just place it underneath your tongue, okay? So, just... That's it. Okay, I'll just hold that there for... Okay, that should do it. I've just got to give that a minute just to settle and give me a reading. I'm just going to make those notes on your chest, okay? More in depth. You're not asthmatic or anything, are you? Okay. That could be allergy related though, like to um, sort of seasonal hay fever. So that's what I'm thinking with your chest. I feel like that's probably more to do with what it is. Have you been coughing at all? Mm, okay. Obviously, yeah, you would be because of your throat. But I just meant as in like a... You're not feeling like you need to clear anything. Just, okay. Yeah, see, if it's just occasionally, I would say that that is probably just seasonal. And, and if you're in a particularly warm house or, um, or even a particularly cold house, it's just your body adjusting um, okay yeah no I'm not concerned by that okay temperature okay yeah that's a little bit higher than we want but it's not um, not like worryingly high but it's a bit you can tell that something's going on your body's fighting something okay so I've just written that down Now, okay, if you don't mind, I would just like to have a look in your throat. Okay, now I've just got this little torch here. 
and this stick. So what I'm going to do is I'll get you to open your mouth and I shall place this on your tongue um, and I'll have a bit of an inspection. Um, I may ask you to make some projection noises just so that I can, it opens things up and I can see a bit further, um, just so that you're prepared, okay? So if you want to open your mouth for me, I'm going to place this on your tongue, it's going to go quite far back, so just if you feel uncomfortable just raise your hand, okay? Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's quite an unpleasant sensation, but that's okay. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. If you try and breathe through your nose, that does make things a bit more comfortable. It's, I have, it won't take too long anyway, that's okay. Okay, are you ready? Okay, just open your mouth again. If you could just make an R sound. I'm nearly done, just bear with me. Okay, there we go. There is definitely some serious redness in your throat. It's very, very, very swollen. And so I can understand your description when you say it's like knives when you swallow. Um, because that's, there's barely any space for, to swallow anything. So hence why we're only really managing soups and things like that. So I really feel for you because that's got to be very uncomfortable. Okay, let me just note that down, please. The good thing is I haven't noticed any little um, lumps or bumps or anything, so it's definitely not like tonsillitis or anything like that. Um, I might actually, if that's okay with you, I might just have a look up your nose. Um, just to um, see if, what, if there's any inflammation in there, okay? I'll try and shield the light from your eyes. Um, they might sort of hit your eyes occasionally, but I'll be really careful. It should just be a bit of a glow, really. Okay. You don't need to do anything. You just relax. You don't, just, you don't need to flare your nostrils or anything like that. That's, that's okay. Okay. like there's a little bit of um, in inflammation at the back of your nostrils just as the sort of cavity goes into the back passage. Um, your nostrils themselves seem okay but it's just behind. You can tell there's still something going on. Um, I might actually just have a feel around on your face if that's okay just for any tenderness. Have you noticed anything? Any, any discomfort or anything? Yeah or well, when you were um, when you were having the trouble before you would have but um, I'll just see if you haven't felt around since then you might have a little bit and you just aren't aware okay so just relax for me I'm just going to come along here and around your face okay okay I'm just going to be applying just some light pressure under your eyes It hurts just say or if it's uncomfortable I need to know if there's any even if it's not painful if you can feel sort of slight discomfort it's helpful for me to know okay about around the nose okay a little around your forehead That 
just be some tension and pressure, but there's not really anything. There's a bit of cheekbones a little. Okay, I'm just going to come round under your jawline as well. Stable my hands on your cheeks, okay? Nothing. I mean, your glands are swollen. That's a very definite thing, but you think it's your throat that's causing you trouble, so... Okay. I think... I think that's okay. Yeah. I think it's just residual. Um, yeah. The cheekbones are a little uncomfortable, but... I mean, with that... If it was to get bad enough, painkillers would be okay just to clear that bit up. Um, Throat-wise, though, I think I'm going to need to give you a bit of a steroid, um, a steroid throat spray. Spray, sorry. <laughs> um, I think. Let me just have a look and see what I've got because I understand with your throat tablets are not going to be the easiest thing for you to consume at the moment. So liquid is going to be better. Um, I think what I'll do. I'm just doing a quick diagram just to take note as to where the pain was. Okay, so I have this throat spray here, which is benzodiazepine hydrochloride. Um, so this is a like a numbing spray. Okay, so the objective is you spray directly into the mouth or throat onto the affected area as follows. Um, so as an adult, you'll want to be doing four to eight puffs, one and a half to three hourly. Um, and once you've sprayed it, you want to wipe the nozzle uh, with the tissue uh, just to make sure it doesn't get blocked up at the end. So this that's a neat little contraption is going to be placed just into your throat. I'll just come from different angles again. Okay, so it's a nice quiet spray, it's not anything um, alarming. It doesn't smell unpleasant, doesn't taste unpleasant. It's actually more of a, a minty mouthwash almost flavour. So it's not unpleasant at all, um, but it does numb it completely. It's not a, um, a slight relievement, it is, it numbs it completely. So I really, really think that you would benefit from this at the moment, just by your current symptoms. That will really relieve that horrible pain. But it does also contain a steroid in it, just to help start reducing that inflammation. Okay. Um, I also now have a few nasal sprays. Now I've got... Um, they're both decongestants. One is more aimed at sort of the more allergy side of things, and the other one is more for if you've got um, sinus buildup. Um, it's a tough one for me to know exactly which one to use because of your chest, as I dis as we discussed about your potential allergies, seasonal allergies. The uh, the allergy relief one you would probably benefit from. Um, because that could be how this all triggered. It could have either been a bug or it could have been allergy related. And it just, like I said, if you became overwhelmed and stressed and run down, it then just triggered an infection. Um, alternatively, I've got the decongestant. I think we're going to go with the decongestant because I just feel like... I don't know. I just... My gut's saying that one, and I think if you if you still have issues, um, or you find it's not really working for you, then come back and we can try the other one. Uh, I'm just trying to, to control how expensive this <laughs> visit is going to be for you. Um, I don't want to give you unnecessary drugs. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one, because it lasts for up to 10 hours, and it's a nose drop, not a spray. Which is much more pleasant. 
natural present. So how it works, you have a little fluid filled bottle with a pipette like bit at the top and you just squeeze it's rubbery so you can grip it. You unscrew it and it's like a you can see it just drops out. Now this is quite a strong smelling product. So you will you will smell it and you will taste it because it will drain down your throat which in turn is going to help your throat. So it'll help fight the bacteria. Um, so the instructions for this um, dosage is two to three drops of solution in each nostril two or three times daily. Um, yeah, so this should work for you for colds, hay fever and sinusitis. So actually it should, if there are any allergies involved, this should actually uh, work on that too. Um, additionally, I have got this other one, which is a nasal spray, um, and I will give this to you. It comes in a, a little glass bottle, and it's got a cap on top, and this one is a, you place it in the nose, in the nostril, angled towards your ear, and you give two pumps on each side, okay? It's a glass bottle, so be careful. <laughs> Um, this is very effective and it will just help fight off anything that's going on. Um, I would recommend using this maybe in a week's time. I would use the the other bits for about a week and then go on to this. Um, I've also got some um, tablets that I'd like you to take. Um, I think if you can start taking these in maybe three days time. Um, just to... let your throat start going down a little bit and then we can start consuming these ones. Um, they're quite big but they just dissolve in your mouth but they contain vitamin C um, and antiseptic and antibacterial properties too um, and they are an antibiotic so yeah. So in three days time if you can start taking these maybe three times a day. They should be an orange flavour which makes it a little bit more pleasant obviously but um, some people still aren't keen but even if you can just do two a day you will still be benefiting from that okay if you have any questions please by all means just give me give me a ring or contact me i have got a prescription form here for you though so um i will just note these down and i can keep a copy and you can take a copy so okay so let's see just uh date is the terrible with dates <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. Right, okay, so we've said we're going to do the Diflam steroid and numbing, and we're doing the Ultravine for. and bacteria and there's the drops of the spray um, and we've also said that and that will do for so I said in a week's time didn't I um, and that's probably a let's see if we do that we do two times a day two times a day for three days I think And then that should be enough. Um, the oral tablets. So in three days' time, start taking them three times a day, if possible. Two times is okay, if necessary. And we'll do that for a week. I'm just concerned that you've already had something going on, and this is like a secondary infection um, so I just even though you feel like you're over this bit I just really want to make sure we've covered all bases and um, so if if you feel like it's unnecessary if it's getting to a week's time please just give me a ring but I would like you to um, stick with it please for the week uh, well it'll be a week and a half um, just to even when you feel better 
please continue taking them. It's really important because you need to finish the cycle of antibiotics. Um, okay, I think I've covered everything there. Um, I've put my contact number on the bottom for you, which you should have that contact details anyway, but there's a direct number in case you're scared. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to sign at the bottom. Um, if you can just sign that too as well, that would be really great, okay. Um, lovely, thank you. Okay. So that one is my one, and that one is yours. for you to take home and get dosed up okay so i hope this has been beneficial for you and i really 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 hope that you start to feel better soon okay if it gets worse at all and you're on these just give like i said don't hesitate to give me a ring and um, sometimes it can get a bit worse before it gets better so it's just the process but if you're unsure of anything please just give me a ring okay well, it's lovely to see you um, okay <laughs> bye